Hello everyone, today my lesson will be about the Rhino and Revit, how it can be worked together. But before I will continue, I want to show you the main project uh, I did with my friends one competition in Senegal. Uh, as you see, this is one of our board, and here we used something like the um, column. Uh, it's actually pretty much uh, simple. But simple it doesn't mean bad. Simple it means we need we should do some something simple uh, to its able uh, do locals. So this is using the bamboo, something like uh, local material, but it's not about the material and uh, competition. This is about the column. Uh, we uh, thinking about three ways using Dynamo, using the standard uh, Revit tools, or using the Rhino. The as you understand, uh, I choose the uh, so interesting uh, way. I mean Rhino and Revit, and what we get, I will show you today. Uh, but before I will sh I will start to do the column, I will show you the uh, end result. Maybe you're not interesting that, and you want to see the end result. And the result is here uh, in uh, already uh, uh, in Rhino. So as you see, this is my column. Column with the head where I will put some grass. This is my column, and how it looks the in Revit you can see here. If I will go to the two plan, not this one, this one. If I will go to the plan, you can see this is actually the column properties, and this is column, and inside it's also the column. So uh, let's get started. So what you need to get a column like this. Uh, first way you can download it uh, below this uh, video. The second way uh, you should have the Rhino and Grasshopper, and the last way you can download this project, uh, RVT, so Revit project. Uh, choose whatever you want. If you wanna follow me, follow. Uh, I will go to the Rhino and I will create the column from zero to the end. Uh, for that one, I need go to the Grasshopper. I will close this project done, and I will go to Grasshopper. It's here. Let's open up it. This is my end code. I also will post it uh, if you want, of course. Uh, but for now, I will start from the from the clear list. Okay, let's do it. The first thing I will make the window a bit smaller and uh, let's zoom in like this for example and first thing what we need uh, we need to create the uh, cycle because uh, our column it's have the cycle form and we need the mm, point construct point here is it and let's connect it and after that as you see, we get the our point in the middle of our uh, uh, axis, our grid, yeah, world axis in the middle. So uh, from here we'll start our cycle from this point. So now we need the radius of our cycle. Let's create the radius by uh, slider. Uh, Wasted number slider here. Uh -huh. Nice, and now I want to edit a bit the slider because uh, I want to make it not like zero, I want to make like thousand, maybe hundreds. Let's create the hundreds. No, I want more like this, and minimal it will be like uh, 300, and maximal it will be like a maybe. 2000 let's let's do like 2000 and rage yeah relate a little bit like that now as you see the our cycle let's do it bigger smaller as you want but we will create like uh, maybe 600 it's enough for now okay 
we get uh, our basement uh, of uh, column. And uh, as you see, uh, oh, why well, it's not 600? I want a 600. Okay. Uh, as you see, we get the uh, middle point, we have the hour cycle, and now we need to divide uh, off our cycle. So, as you understand, we need commands divide. Divide. So, divide curve here. Let's connect it, and it's already divided. Uh, but I need uh, the numbers, so slider, let's choose the slider, uh, let's make some changes, here will be 0, maximum result will be 100, range, yes of course 100, and numerical value 20, I want uh, 20, 20 small columns inside this cycle, and let's connect to the number. As you see, we get 20 uh, midpoint of our future columns. And now we need the command, it's called bang. <laughs> uh, explode tree, here is it, point to here. So we just, it's about the coordinates uh, from this one. So we can uh, explode it and after that we will shuffle it. Um, I will tell you later what, to, what, what, what we're gonna do. So we get our uh, basement uh, column, basement, uh, uh, it's like, uh, yeah, basement column, it will be the same. Okay, now select everything and just copy. Control C and Control V. Let's put it here. And we need one more slider. I will copy this one. Here the maximal will be 10,000. And minimal will be like 3,000. No, it's too much. I mean too small. Let's make 2,000. And numerical value it will be... Uh, let's make 6,000. Okay. And now I will connect to... Uh, Z point. So it means now it's here. So Z point it's under this um, and uh, it's like a uh, height. Okay, six thousand is uh, of course as you understand it's six meter. Uh, let's uh, change the radius. Let's make it twice bigger, like one hundred or one thousand two hundred. 1200 let's make like this and it will be the same count okay nice um, after that all we need the command shift let's uh, left put our command shift shift list it's here and I need two of them let's copy it uh, and let's uh, copy now also then count because we also don't need before I will continue uh, connect my basic code with this one we will make the counts so uh, let's uh, let's do like um, it will be one here just one connect to num number s shift copy that one and here too like this so now let's let's uh, see what I'm doing. Uh, I'm putting this result to the, here, this result here, and I need one more. Let's copy it here, and this result also here. So you will ask me, uh, sir, what you did? I just shuffle off the my points. You will see now. Let's create a line. Line. Here is this. Not this one. This one. Let's close it like this. And I wanna two lines. This one. Not this. This one and this. And let's again shuffle it. This here. This here. This one. Already 
you see our lanes is already here. Uh, this one going here, and this one going here. Uh, this is now everything straight, as you see. The line under other line, you can see like this better. Let's create like this view and like this. But if I will change here, for example, let's create here number three. As you see, we already have double lines and it changed from here to here. And let's create here number six. Now it's twisting and here it's number 12. Now it's like network. And have the nice shape. Now you can create everything what you want. For example, uh, if you want to change the radius, okay, let's change it. Uh, you want to make the other height, let's change it. So maybe you want to change the count, okay? Go it, go for it. And now we need to create the geometry of the subject because now it's just the line. So for this one, I will use the pipe. <laughs> Easy command. I need pipe. And of course, I need again the sliders. Yes, I like sliders. I don't know why. Okay. Let's put to the radius. So pipe, you know it is pipe. And we just need radius of this pipe because now it's zero. So it means it's not here. But now let's create it like a 12. One pipe we already have. And we need now second one here. And also the let's connect it. And as you see, our pipe is here. It's actually so small. Let's create 25 maybe by 25. Now it's much better. Now you can see this is our geometry. So our column is mm, pretty under finish. So as you see the our basement line, for example, we also want to make it pipe. Let's create, let's do it like a pipe. Just I'll copy this command. Let's go to the uh, start. Here the our cycle. Where is our command here? Here the our cycle. And let's, so no, not this one, this one. Because we want from the basement. And here we are, we get the same cycle. Or, or maybe you don't wanna make the uh, same command here, you want just connect it to the, to the here. So just uh, uh, click on the uh, P1, Control, oh no, Shift, and here. So it's like add here. Oh, we cannot add here. Why? Maybe because same command. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Tell me on the comments. Let's. Let's put it here. Oh, cause I'm, <laughs> I'm going from the divide. Sorry guys, it's my, it's my wrong. Yeah, I should go to from the cycle. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Now, now everything okay. And maybe we need from this one too. Let's put it in the same way. So the second one is the top line, it's here. So guys, it's pretty much it, but I not finish because we need to bake it. Now what we're gonna do, just click on that, right click and bake. Yes, please group everything uh, by layer, maybe by layer, it's okay. Bake it and this one, bake. Yes, everything, bake it. And now let's export it to the uh, to the Revit. So I will close it. Now I have only our geometry. I will select everything. I will go to the file, export selected. No Rhino models, I need this one, SAT. And let's 
call it column. Let's call it column test like this. Let's go to the option after cut. Yes, after cut. Mm -hmm. Everything okay. So okay, save. Yes, okay. This is application selected. It doesn't not read point information. Yes, okay. I'm okay with that. Done. Now let's go again to the Revit. And now we need to load uh, our mm, column. And we will go to insert, import cat file. We will change dwg to sat. And here our column test. We will choose the import category as column. So let's choose the column and let's click OK. Few seconds, done. Let's go to the uh, the our original coordinates. It's here. And this is our column. We can place anywhere where you want. So this how looks our column. Let's go to the like this. This is our column. This uh, how it looks on the level one. As you see, it's pretty nice. This is mine column. So it's doesn't doesn't have any um, much difference and you can choose any material for this column so this is like this <laughs> okay guys I think this is enough for you uh, if you are interesting uh, please give me like if you not interesting also give me like leave some comments uh, maybe you have some nice ideas about uh, um, or experience about Rhino I will be so appreciate to read your message about that and all links I will leave on description uh, below this video uh, I will leave the uh, first this project uh, with column in Revit. The second one I will leave Grasshopper uh, notes and last one just the picture with Grasshopper notes. Maybe you wanna fo just follow, you know, wanna just take the my Grasshopper notes. Okay guys, thank you and see you later. And yes, sorry for messy video because I'm uh, doing it after work. It's a bit hard to uh, thinking clear. <laughs> see you soon.